ビビッと頑張るぞ !So loud! Ow! Hello everybody! This is Dolpha! And we're back in Sharin no Kuni! Let's carry on! Sachi woke up! Which could mean only one thing! School had let out for the day! Woohoo! Sachi was even louder than usual! Yeah. A bit too loud. Our chairman demonstrated her authority and took charge of the situation. Um, I don't know. Go diving. That'd be fun. Ah, of course. It would have been impossible to see the stars during summer with that time limit of hers. Just talking? A bit boring? Oh well. It's fine. Wow, I am unfamiliar with the recreational habits of peasants, so I'll leave it up to you guys to figure out what to do. Un sighed in exasperation for some reason again. Well, don't ask me. I'm new. True. What? Yeah. What? なんで死ななきゃいけないのよ。いや、あとはダイ。しかし保険金は降りなかった。みたいなことをしてみる。オッケー。それ無駄死に。いや、妊娠。でもあなたの子じゃないのか。死んで。さっきから殺しすぎ
What? Uh, uh, hi. Did she fall asleep? It seemed that Natsumi had dozed off for a bit. Less sigh. <laughs> Not yet. You were spacing out again, weren't you? You, the one with the very big ribbon. <sighs> okay, you think so? Well, as long as she was enjoying herself. However, that didn't... <laughs> However, that didn't change the fact that our conversation had missed its turn about three exits ago. Uh, I suppose this was just an example of, of that most glorified after-school harmony. Alright, maggots, follow me! Hmm. She was truly a selfish girl. You want to cook, right? Never fear! You can cook to your heart's content with the utensils contained within this Deruleum case of mine. Morikun, Deruleum I case. You. Morikun to date したい. Let's grind, grind together. <laughs> what the hell? Hmm. Well, you said you wanted to go stargazing. So we'll go somewhere with a nice view. Okay. Space out? Is there some place in particular that would assist you in this prodigious endeavor? Swirly things. I rubbed my forehead and sighed. Anyway. I'll figure something out. Nothing is impossible for me, after all. I thought I had some lollipops in my case. Lollipops! Yep. Lollipops. Hell no! Reject it! Oh, shove it. You crazy bastard. I'm gonna treat you like shit until you reveal your true form. Oh. A most pitiful expression appeared upon his face. Sorry, I went too far. I'll try my best to summon the southeastern wind. The bar had been set pretty high. Alright, let's do this. Oh! Yeah! We filled out. <laughs> we filed out of the classroom one after another. Okay. Dots. So, where should we go? I had to choose a location that would satisfy all four conditions. All four? Red cliffs, mountains, riverside. Um, I don't like choices. Is this important? It might be. Where should we go? Okay, I'm gonna save. One sec. Okay, so. Riverside, mountains, or red cliffs? Um, I don't know. I guess the riverside? Why not? Okay. Yeah. The riverside seems like the best bet. The water nearby would serve to facilitate the creation of both uh, substance and swirls. And there was bound to be a fairly clear view of the night sky as well. Alright maggots, we're heading to the riverside. Oh god. Isano's questioning was so intense that I got the impression that I would be stabbed if I delivered an unfavorable response in return. Leave it to me. Well, taking the current uh, metrological date of the town and the alignment of the heavens into consideration, I had to say that there was a pretty good chance it would. 
rain by tonight or tomorrow. And when clouds set in, so does the wind. I couldn't guarantee that it would be a southern, a southeastern wind, though. We marched off in a line. Did she now? Well, all right. We'll go on ahead. The three of us set off together. Me, Isano, and Natsumi. Crimson danced across the surface of the river. Thick clouds were gathering to the west. Nat Chan! I opened my derulium case and took out a lollipop. Here you go, little girl. Enjoy. Lick it slowly. It's for you! <laughs> oh, sure. Nah. <laughs> nah. You just mentioned that you liked swills. So I decided to... She jerked her hand back as I reached out to hand it to her. I laid it on, <laughs> I laid it on top of the case instead. Go ahead. Enjoy. Well, come to think of it, you shouldn't have to worry about touching guys today, right? Natsumi took the candy while playing with her bangs. Arrows? Why? This guy really got into things. Well, at the very least, I was able to understand that he was interested in history and military affairs. I'll go look for stuff that seems flammable. Okay. Oh. He flashed us a uh, jovial grin. Ah, don't worry. Don't worry, Natsumi. Nostalgic. I was clearly the third wheel here. Ja. Natsumi met Isano's gaze, if only for an instant. Now that definitely had me curious. So, what's your relationship with Isano? Like I've said, I didn't enjoy prying into people's personal affairs, but... Yeah. Well, yeah, he's not a bad person, at least. I stoked the fire. Oh. Nice fella. I opened the lid of the fuel container and confirmed that there was enough gasoline remaining. Yeah, this stone should work for enclosing the fire. I busied myself with gathering stones, pretending not to pay attention to her story. Based on what she had just said, I could conclude that Natsumi had been incapable of, co of caring for herself at some point in the past. I lost my parents too, just like you and Sachi. My mouth slipped. That's just the stereotype applied to us by the world at large. Children are perfectly capable of growing up without parental figures. I assumed an artificially positive attitude. Am I? Oh. Oh. Her voice was dignified, her figure refined. I'm sorry. I just assumed that they were... Why, thank you. She laughed softly. 
and a great unease dwelt within that laughter. <sighs> Foo. She cast a bemused stare toward the swills painted on the candy. Her parents were most likely dead. <laughs> she was a girl who could not accept reality. Was that it? I reenacted the thinker on a nearby stone. Hello! Welcome back! Sachi and Oon arrived with a variety of objects in hand. Apparently. Oon's right hand clutched a bag from the shopping mall. What did Kyoko-san tell you? Oh. Hmm? Really? My question was directed at Oon. Exciting. Sachi butted in. I can see through lies, you know. No, thank you. That's no proof. Perhaps homework was indeed part of the equation. Lies almost always contain a nugget of truth. Oh boy, nuggets! I stood up and advanced upon Sachi. S Sachi, yappari. Ooh. Oon's face tightened. However, before I could make my move. <coughs> oh! Sachi came flying toward me. Huh? Hey! She caught me totally off guard. I couldn't tell up from down. I breathed deeply. I breathed deeply of her scent as she put me in a chokehold. Y you! Hey! Let go of me! Something soft was brushing against my chest. I idiot! L let go of me! This was a rather embarrassing situation. Why, thank you. She was rubbing her face back and forth across my torso. Blood started to rise to my head. Mm. I get it! I get it already! So let go of me! Right before she let me go... Chew! She planted a kiss squarely on the back of my neck. A chill ran down my spine. Maybe. I raised my hands to my temples and shook my head in exasperation. The palpitations of my heart made their presence known in a most annoying fashion. Ba -bum. Hey, it's really not anything important. Oh. Oops, wrong voice. I see. My apologies for being stubborn. The word for my current state would be... Oh god, what is that? Discombobulated. I don't know. I'll go wash my face. I tottered toward the riverbank. My shock was such that I was unable, unable of even offering a reply. I was really no good at these kinds of things. Sachi's body sure was soft. Well, duh, she was a girl after all. You probably think I'm a coward now, but sorry, that's what I think too. I couldn't help it. A weakness was a weakness. And apparently his weakness is girls. Okay, so I'm going to end it there. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Delpha. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. Thank you again, and goodbye. <laughs>